Hi, I'm Gary, KB9AIT, and with my partner Terry, N9AOT, we are Wolf River Coils. Today I'm going to introduce our new clip that we're going to be putting on all our coils starting on March 15th, ones that are sold. So as you can see, this clip, this is the older clip, which is, got, is straight across, and it's about a half inch wide. The new clip you can see is curved, uh, and it is uh, five-eighths of an inch wide. Hopefully a little more of this will touch the uh, wire and make it a little more efficient and let it run a little cooler. I'm going to show you how you can retrofit this to your collar. Eventually, if you keep looking at our website, we will offer this as a retro kit. So just pull the collar off. Some of these will just come off like this. If not, take the nut off the bottom and you can free it up. This is a 5 16 nut driver which fits on this. Just twist that and it'll come off. And save the nut and save the little washer. If you're getting the kit from us, uh, you'll get an extra nut and washer and screw, but I would save it in case you break or lose something. Then take a small screwdriver. This is a Phillips screwdriver. And take that metal clip out. And the only interesting thing about this screwdriver, it is a little skinny one to fit through that little hole. Save all these pieces. Then you'll get this, which is that new clip I was talking about. You just put the screw back in the clip, put the clip back in the hole, just hold it there, and just turn this in. I turn it kind of slowly so it doesn't build up any heat. Turn it until it just gets snug there. Then grab your pliers. Just hold the side of this so it doesn't turn. And just snug this up. Like that. And I just straighten it out. And you can see there it is. It's in there like that. That's what you have on the other side. Then take your wire. I've taken the nut off the bottom so it's a little easier. Put that on. The washer goes on next, and then the little nut. Now, take your 5 16 driver. I always make sure this fits under there so it's kind of even. Just tighten this down until it gets a little snug again. Put your screwdriver through the hole and tighten this down. Now this is the interesting part. This doesn't have to be so tight that you break the nut. It just has to be tight enough to hold that clip in place. So I'm just turning it very slowly till I feel enough resistance that I know it would be tight. And then with these clips you have to bend it down a little bit. So I bend it down just a little bit. Not much, just a little. If you go too much just stick the head through it and turn it the other way. Make sure it fits nice. You can just, yep, that's a, that was a good guess. And the last thing I do is I put this back in there again and give it a sixteenth of a turn just to tighten it up. Put the tools aside. This fits the same way. Once you have that top piece, you're on 20 meters. Put this back on and you're done. You can put the nylon screw back in, but you don't need the nylon screw, it's tight enough. And that's how you put the new bigger clip on your existing coil. Again, anything shipped after March 15th of 2020 will have the new clip. But if you'd like that uh, big clip on your collar, just uh, keep an eye on our website. We'll actually have a little kit available there for a really reasonable price. Uh, WRCoils at Hotmail.com and I'm Gary, KB9AIT, with my partner Terry, N9AOT. Thanks for viewing the video and 7 threes.